with your breath. Breathe. Breathe, just breathe. I'll take my son to see food. Hello and welcome to Witchy 101 with myself, Willow, my lovely sister, Drew, and my lovely sister, Mystical. We are really happy to see you all here. Nine people in the room already. Hello. I'm going over to Sister Drew and Mystical so they can say hello to you as well. Oh, welcome in, everybody. Welcome in, everybody. It's nice to see you all here. Hello, everybody. Stephanie, Diane. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Stephanie. Welcome, in. Diane. Hey, darlings. How are you? I'm so, not sure if Iron will make it tonight, guys. Our sister Iron may not make it tonight, guys. She has a way out on her family. She's been called away with family, so if she makes it in, we'll welcome her in. But if she doesn't, we're thinking about you, Iron. Okay? Yeah, we're thinking of you, sweetheart. Hello, uh, hey, Cherry. Hey, how Kerry. are you? Kerry, sorry. Kerry. So tonight, Look on, Kerry. me and the sisters, we've decided that we were going to do a recap on um, the shows and see how you guys were doing with the uh, the homework that we'd put up and, and things to you and just seeing how you're relating to the shows and what you're thinking so far. Um, I'll get Sister Drew to join in with that as well because she might have some things that she wants to ask you and, and sort out. I might actually put it yeah, on to sure. Sister first because so, she's got more of a plan on what we're going to be talking about. But we just want to see how you're doing and what you think to the show so far, guys, and um, what you're thinking to the homework and how you've related. Uh, Sister Drew? Yeah, see, the thing is... It what we've told you is over the past, what, four weeks is a lot to take in, especially when we covered the shadow work last week. So I feel as if it's important to take a little bit of a pause, make sure everybody is okay, make sure everybody has maybe even tried to do a meditation and maybe even open up to us a little, tell us what you've seen, you felt anything any questions you have about anything really just we're here to take a pause and alert the teachings to see if there's anything you need feedback on and also to cover the homework and things have you been doing it are you enjoying the process so just really things like that so just a little bit of catch up tonight what do you think mystical uh, I think you kind of pretty much covered it so in other words it's kind of a question and answer thing Anything that you have got to ask questions so far that um, has been covered in the Witchy 101 uh, series. And uh, now's the time to ask and catch up before they go on to the next things. Uh, welcome in, Christy, and welcome in. Welcome in, Curtis. Welcome in, everybody. So all coming in now. Now's the time to ask. It's really nice to see you all in. It's lovely. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay, so maybe the first question to ask you is how are you feeling about the Witchy 101 shows? Do you think that they're, they're helping you to understand a little bit more about your, your possible spiritualities and your possible roads that you and pathways you want to be going down? If you just write in the room, we can read what you're writing and we can talk to you and and things like that. So how do you feel yeah. about the show so far, guys? Do you think you've learned quite a lot? Yeah. See, the thing is, on mess, 
Tinder and things, I get a lot of questions after it. And I've just figured out who a few of you are actually on Facebook. <laughs> um, I know Demoness and things, I have now figured out who she is on the Facebook. So a lot of you were just figuring out who you are as well. So that tonight is also a chance to let you know that we... I do see he's on Facebook, guys, and I know that he's are connecting on the WhatsApp group as well. So it's great that if he's all maybe try and go over there so that that is a base group for us all because I'm never really going to an answer a question that I don't involve my sisters in, really, because to let you understand, we did this as a, a clan group together, so I want any questions to be aimed at here. And then that way we can you can get a bit a little bit of a different answer if you like. So yeah, I just want to point that out. So that is why the clan yeah. group is there, and I will grab the link to that just shortly. Yeah, I, I was more me. worried about the meditations. No, you go, sis. It's okay. Oh, and no, I was just gonna say that brings up a good thing what you said, Drew. If anybody's on Facebook or something like that. And we don't know who you are because you go by a totally different name on Facebook. Like I do, I use my real name on Facebook instead of Mystical Love and Light. It's nice to put in there parentheses, put, you know, your channel name or something. That way we know who's who. Even though Drew, like Drew says, it's good to communicate on here. That way everybody gets the experience of knowing the questions, knowing the answers. It's kind of hard to address something sometimes when you're not really sure who you're talking to because everybody yeah. has a little bit of a different situation going. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I do agree with that. And a lot of people don't uh, forget yeah. that as well, don't they? They forget that their names on YouTube are different to on Facebook. And we were like, well, who's yeah. this that's asking these questions? And uh, Who are you again? <laughs> yeah, who are you? Yeah. Um, you know. But yeah, a lot of people know who we are. <laughs> yeah you know who we are obviously yeah definitely but we really want you to be in i know like it must seem like a lot because we're educating you a lot but we do really want you to enjoy this as well guys we don't want you to feel like everything's coming on top of you it's just really important that if you're going to be educated you're educated the right way so yeah. it, it is really important to know that you guys are feeling comfortable and you're understanding where we're coming from you're liking the shows what was it was you was going to say sis about the med meditation yeah what i was going to say was i was a bit worried that some of you would maybe do the meditations and start opening up old feelings and things with the shadow work that's why i felt it was important to pause tonight because i think a lot of was when I did shadow work especially I found it hard to keep overcoming a few things especially with the smell of lynx deodorant that took a while for me to get over that as a shadow because that was always the smell that my ex-partner used so having a family here boys now that do use that I had to really adjust to that so that took a moment for me so I wanted to explain a little bit, bit more about if you are struggling with doing the shadow work because um, who helped me with my shadow work was a YouTuber called Crescent Moon. I was having difficulty isolating myself, if you like. I always felt as if I had to have a routine. I had to make sure I had a full shower, that I had my makeup on and that I was presentable to... a approach the goddess if you like and i had to have my housework done by the christina. time i did all that i felt i welcome in christina says i felt as if it was a big chore so when she was going over shadow work on her channel i think she was actually on our live with the lady grave dancer at the time um she explained that cocoon yourself in a little space don't feel as that's what about sparkly because are hearing her um i don't feel no she, she would let me understand and not to feel as if you had to go through this big full process of approaching and things like that to, to let off and make that your sacred space 
and then it wasn't as much a chore that way. So I felt as if once I'd done that and I learned to control that area with just me and my thoughts in that area, it would be good if I had this witchy room then, but I didn't. So that was I felt that's important to let you understand. You don't have to go through the full big ritual to approach any of the goddesses, any of the deities and things. And I know a lot of the books and things will tell you that to make sure. But you don't necessarily have to, guys. Just make sure you've got your own little sacred space and you'll be fine. Phoenix is yeah. in. Hello, Phoenix, sis. Phoenix, sis. Yeah, no, I I do agree. Like, you you don't have to go to massive extents to do your shadow work. You know, just in your, in your own, like sister said, in your personal space, just somewhere for you to just sit there, reflect on the things that you're feeling, you know, trying to just connect with them and understand them and accept them and it's not something that's going to happen overnight guys either it's going to take time for you to come to terms with that and if it is difficult and and things are happening and you think it, you're sitting there thinking oh my god it's not working it is working that is the process you have to feel the pain or the worry before yeah. things start to make sense okay so you're going through the right process if you're doing that with your shadow work um, meditation does help a lot, but like Sister Drew said, meditation is really a form of art that really helps you to open to your abilities, open to, you know, um, your emotions, your feelings. It, it, there's yeah. so many forms of meditation. Um, yeah. I have yeah. done a meditation video today, which was nature formed, and it, you know, it talks you through, and there's a few like, educational banner bits on it that tells you what medication meditation is really for and how it helps you and it connects you and how to be in control with, with your thoughts and your feelings okay because you're very much conscious when you're doing your meditation very conscious when you're doing your meditation it, it, and that's how you open so quickly to things as well so meditation definitely is one you do need to look into the sh your shadow work if that's something you feel that you need to be doing. But d don't rush to do it, okay? Don't rush everything. Let it take time because then it may be a little bit easier for you. You know, we don't want you to think, oh, my God, they said about shadow work, so now I've got to do it full scale. No, just do it mm -hmm. at your own pace. And it's don't be process. scared to ask for help. Yeah. Process. And write everything down. Yeah. And write it all yeah, down. Right, right. Have you been writing things down, guys? Have you been doing homework and things? Put it in the well, chat. I'm waiting for I know them there's to many answer. Many of them are. I have a cough. Well, can't have your brother. Yeah, right in the room, guys, answer. so we can see what you're saying. Okay. Because it is really important we know that you're doing the homework. That It's really important to do the homework because it's what's going to help you to understand more. And we're going to get more of a picture of what you're trying to do. Let me see what um, Christina's just said. Yeah. On my way back from the store, I was really like, I wish I had some chairs that didn't hurt my back so much. And and behold, someone was throwing them out. So I had to catch Jonathan. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. well, it's good that you found them, sis. Um, just going up to chat to see. Well, that's uh, good. <laughs> Kerry said that she's mainly on Instagram these days. Facebook is mostly old school mates and family. Really do need a, a cone on there. Yeah, like, obviously, that for me, I don't really use Instagram. I'm more of a Twitter person, but I'm, I'm more of my YouTube and my Facebook. I find it a lot more easier to do it on YouTube, Facebook, and WhatsApp, obviously, as well. So... And there is, like Sister Drew said, there um, is on Instagram, and so it's mystical. Yeah. yeah. They're on it. There is a track. They're on it. Drew's on everything. If you get on something, yeah. look up Drew. She'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Banshee. <laughs> yeah. I, think I, I just think these classes are important, I think. I think they're important to, to let everybody know that we're just really simple people in the end of the day. I mean, goodness sake, we well, I was, I'm probably the most oh, simplest hey, person you'll ever meet, you know, so not simple as I'm silly, but simplest as in, mm -hmm. hi, Uncle Danny, I don't need a big, a, a, loads of things. I started off very small, so I want you to realise that, that when I started my journey, I did 
they have all this. I had access to it. In fact, do you want to know what candles I used to buy? Those the big red ones, the big dinner candles. Um, that was the ones that I've started off by because that was all I could get up here. So to let you understand, you don't need all this to start. This is a process that you'll get along the way is adding up all your witchy items, things that you're attracted to, and that all will help in the process of manifesting and making you feel really like a witch and things. But you don't need all this, guys. We want you to understand as long yeah. as you're doing your meditations, you're living a certain way, you're helping people, you're feeling your self-worth, you're knowing who you are, that when you get to the stage of trying to call in the spirits, your ancestors, your deities, any elementals, <laughs> Sister Sherry, that is going to want to start working with you, you'll be ready. Yeah. You, you know, so we want you to understand that. So it's important to take a pause and make sure that you're all understanding things. And I know you'll all be keen to go on with the spell work and things, which we all want to do eventually. But as a process, you do have to realise the power behind it, the power behind your words and things, and realise the responsibility of it. Because it, 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 you yeah. you've really got people's lives in your hands as well. If somebody asks you for help, can you please help me with a candle magic, a, a pouch, a, a, an oil? That's a responsibility that somebody's asked you. So you've got to have a really understanding of what they need. When I send out an oil, I want people to be able to tell me I want the oil for a certain purpose. That way I can make sure that everything I've put into that is bypassing little barriers that they may have along the way. So I think that you'll get to that stage, but you've got to realise the way to do that. <laughs> to get yeah. to that stage so it's a process so any questions any worries you've got just put them in the chat or in the comments it's, after the live stream it, it, i want if people can understand it also too as as an infant what what sherry and uh drew what this is all about on teaching you the basics working your way up it's like an infant when they're born they don't just jump up and go running off they first have to learn how to move, how to roll over, how to get on their knees, how to crawl, you know, how to walk, their steps. Then once they get so far, then it's like they spread out and go different directions. And that's kind yeah. of what they're trying to teach you, the basics to get there to that part that you can flare out and become whatever it is that you wish to become. That you can become your own magic pretty much exactly. guys okay mm -hmm. um that's what you know like anybody like sister drew uh, and mr Cole, yeah. obviously I, I, anyone can jump in and start doing spell work like sister drew said but if you don't understand Perfect. it you're not really knowing what you're giving out okay so it is really important that these yeah. classes are done the way that they're done so you have full understanding of everything okay because not only is it yeah, doing yeah. that spell work and doing that what that working for someone, you're going to have people that come to you asking you for advice and stuff. And if you don't have that understanding of that, it's going to be quite difficult, isn't it? And people are not going to completely rely on you then. Mm -hmm. So you've got to have that knowledge as well. So yeah. this is it's not just to learn you the magic and and that is to, to make you who you are and so that you have an understanding for what the craft yeah. is. And as yeah. Sister Christina said in the room as well, she's not really a witch, but she does the magical side this this isn't just for witches these are for spiritual people as well you can do magic what? yourself you don't have to be a witch to do spells okay and to help others and this is what this these classes yeah. are about to empower, and, um, you. empower yeah. you and to make you comfortable yeah that's it to empower you yeah yeah exactly and okay. to make I you realize that, that yeah you can feel empowered in, within yourself. I mean, I know you don't help people to receive back or anything, but when you start, when you've been to the shop or something, saying you've just smiled at somebody and they smile back and you realise they've made, you've made their day, that also makes you feel good. You, you feel as if I've helped that person maybe just for a split moment, have a better day, feel a little bit of kindness 
this, you never know what they're going through behind the scenes. Well, some some of us do because we can feel it when we pass them. But um, if you can smile at them and know that they're going through a hard time, that empowers you to realise that the next time you pass somebody, smile at them because you know they're going to feel better. and You will build up to different things like that. And that helps empower you back because you feel that reward as well. So if you try and yeah. live your life daily by always helping somebody, Hi, always trying to go out your way for somebody as well, Uncle Danny, hope you're feeling He's good. Going to sleep. Is he Love going back to, to rest? Are you leaving? There's Please weird like, emojis you're yeah, putting in the room. Right. I'm just not sure what they are. <laughs> <laughs> well, Phoenix says, just make sure you're loving Danny. your life the best Have you can be. Yeah, Look I don't up. know if they've read the, the, the chat thing wrong, but um, yeah, the, the thing is, guys, is yeah, have a good sleep. We're not we're not here just to learn you about the witchcraft and stuff. Yeah, obviously that is a big part of what we're doing here, but we are here to learn you about yourself, spiritually it's about finding yourself, and um, finding yeah. yourself. That is what these shows are about. Okay, being comfortable in your own skin, whether you're a witch or you're a spiritual person or whatever it is. Okay. That's yeah. what we're here to do. We're not just going to be learning we're about be who you are. And, and spells. We're going to be learning you to protect, to cleanse, all sorts of things. Yeah. Okay. So and don't feel bad at who you are. I know a lot of people. So I only go, sis. So okay, okay, go. I'm just going to say, once you learn all of these basics, then you can start taking care spiritually. Uh, you know, like your family members and stuff, people around yeah. you, your friends that's feeling ill, you know, that's feeling sick, uh, then you're not just empowering yourself, you start spreading that out and start helping the others to do the, you know, to do the same. You don't even have to okay, use Uncle the word Donna. just use the word prayer if you want to. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's what... Yeah. Sorry, Drew. Yeah. That's what you want. That's what that's what this Mom is about, guys. Say, you know, okay. it's about you being comfortable in yourself and um, just being you and um, opening See, you that we, way. We did that when we started. Do you remember back when we started the classes? In fact, really, when we started the clan group, a way way back. If you think about it. We said that we wanted to be a clan because we wanted everybody to have an input on it. And, and it. so even, I mean, I'm not necessarily talking to the people that's in the chat right now. It's maybe the people behind the scenes that don't ever comment, they don't ever come into the chat or anything. Those people that is quietly learning behind the scenes I'm talking to right now. When we started yeah. all, all this, we told you that we wanted also to help bring you out in a kind of support. We want you to feel your inner self, not even your inner witch. So if you're sitting behind the scenes right now and you've never commented, you've never come onto the live streams, push yourself a little bit to be in here and feel feel the difference and the power of being live and just watching the video that. even. And that'll give you a different perspective of energy. Because if you yeah. feel the energy when you're here live with us, with the people in the chat, the way we interact, it's totally different to watching the video. So I wanted you to realise that when we started this, it's also to bring your confidence on, your confidence on of your inner self to help you with things in life that will maybe come up that you'll not have the confidence to push on, like job interviews, maybe you want to be a ghost hunter, but you've not really got the courage to do it. It's about pushing yourself to do all that as well, you know? So try and push yourself to come into the chat that's comment and things because I know there's a lot of these behind the scenes. I've looked at the views we all get. So try and push yourself. Guys. Oh, yeah. There is a lot of views. Feel yourself working. There is. Mm -hmm. That's what Hello, Luna says. Hi, Luna says. It, some you know, people yeah. don't comment. Some people don't comment because they're afraid of being ridiculed by other people that might spot them on the chat or you know put in comments or something. So you're never gonna be ridiculed by us because you know we're no. not gonna judge you that way. So just keep that in you know in mind. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of trying to help you. We're not going to be going, oh, that's so and so. You know, let's see what they did. No, we just try to answer anything and yeah. everything that Come we can. Come in a different can. name. 
if you're not yeah exactly if you're not comfortable being known for who you are you can have a different name on youtube and stuff like that uh like miss sister mystical and everyone and sister drew and me we've all said it right at the beginning when this show started we're not here to judge you we're not here to tell you if you're right or wrong we're just here to guide you what you choose in your path is your choice we're just giving you that opening so that you can do it correctly that is all we're doing you know um it's about finding your inner voice and being happy with it. It's about finding your spirituality and things in a world of chaos right now, especially. Yeah. I feel as if we're all opening up and we're all going up a level for a reason. I mean, we're not saying we're any better than anybody at all. We have just felt the calling to help you guys uh, that do sit behind the scenes and are maybe struggling a little bit to find where they are spiritually where their place is in the world, jumping from one thing to another, maybe help you find a little bit of groundedness for the first time ever. Just to, to realise that this path that you take, it's not just for a moment, it's not just for bringing it out when you want something, you want money or something. This is a way of life. This changes your whole aspect of who you are. It changes your whole outlook on people you meet. It changes your whole outlook on a whole, a whole range of different things. It's so important, especially right now in the way the world is, to find your spirituality, I feel. So I just want you all to know that this is what it's for. It's not to learn you spell work. Or, that's a bonus. All right, son, good. It's not to learn you that. Well, it is to learn you that as well, but it's more to give you a support system to find your spirituality. Yeah. A place to come that you are welcome to tell us who you are, what he's doing. We will never judge, you know. And that's what we want you to do. We want you to be open minded. We want you to talk to us, you know. Um, yeah, it can be very difficult to understand spirituality and it can be very difficult to connect to that and to understand that when you are doing it. So being in, in a room with people that do understand that and are going through the same thing as you. Like even us as um, highly fledged witches now, okay, and spiritual beings, yeah, like we do a lot of work into that. We're still every day learning new things. We're still getting yeah, sure. energies coming to us, needing to work with us. We're doing going through yeah. the same thing, guys. <laughs> I'm this last week yeah. have gone from having two elementals to having about four different elementals now, one of them being a tree elemental, you know, I mean, I'm sitting, like, today I was in a chat, like, with pups and everyone, I was like, why am I getting this so quickly, and why have all these energies coming through and trying to talk to me? <laughs> you know, we're all going through a journey. We're all, like Sister said, we're all going up yeah. a level. There is a reason, and it yeah. is chaotic in this world. There's a lot of stuff going on, and sometimes we can get a bit lost, even us, okay? So it's really good to have these okay. places to come yeah. and to reflect, and yeah. you'll be amazed how many place. people and go, oh, my God, I'm going through the same thing or I'm going through a similar thing. Yeah. You know? And we want you to be confident in telling us. Yeah. Yeah. We want you to be excited in telling us. Don't, hmm. don't be scared to say, oh, I think I had an experience last night. Don't be scared of that. Come to us and say, I think I had an experience. Have you ever had the same? Don't feel as if that you don't have to share it, that it's something to, well, well, especially sharing that could probably confirm it for you who it maybe is talking to you and things. But don't ever be ashamed to say that you've had an experience or something, especially if it's a spiritual one like me with the trees talking to me. I was like, the oh, trees yeah. spoke to me. I, I know it was trees. I just know it was trees. Don't ever be ashamed of that. Be excited. <laughs> you know? Exactly, and that, and that, and that's what this is about as well. Yeah, okay, it's about the craft and it's about spirituality, and it's what, but it is about understanding the things you come into communication with as well. Like Sister Drew said, like I've I've spoke to trees and and the elements of nature for a very very long time. Okay, so I've had that that um, connection, but Sister Drew has recently started coming into that side of it, hearing the trees talking and. I'm sure that at times she stood there and thought she was going nuts hearing these voices coming from nowhere. But she, you know, but it's out there, guys, and it's being comfortable and understanding that. You know, um, 
Sister Mystical's a lot like me, you know, she's very open, she talks to energy mm -hmm. and she sees things and she even sees dinosaurs running past her car, <laughs> you know, but this is all real, you know, like seriously guys, like we don't want I'm up in the mountains, so I, I'm surrounded by wood, so you know how yeah. I am. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. She's got everything nature you could think of around her at the minute. You know, like with me, where I live, there's a lot of trees and there's a lot of plants and there's a lot of this. And, you know, it, it, it is really cool. And yeah. uh, until next time, I love you guys. Okay, Kurt, thank you for coming oh, in, bye. sweetheart. Bye, Kurt. Bye, Curtis. We just want you to be happy. We want you to be comfortable and we want you to be confident. We don't want you to have, sit there and feel you can't speak out when you have experiences. You can speak out. That You know, the more people that speak out about what they're experiencing... The, the easier it becomes for you because it's you acknowledging it okay and it's us mm -hmm. being able to give you advice or talk to you and help you to understand people in the room as well you know um what do you want to say mystical i don't know i was i was just actually just reading this and i had stuck one of these throat lozenges in my mouth and i think it dried my mouth out more than anything <laughs> oh dear oh. not good i don't like... have a sore throat it's just cold in here there's a, the, I'm sure there's a lot of you people, yeah, that sit there and you've got relatives or you've got people that come to you and they're like, oh, I don't feel very well today. And you, how many of you have sat there and gone, I wish that I could help you? The answer is you can help them if you believe in what you can do, because we're all truly remarkable spiritual beings. Oh, yeah. Okay, We're very, very high in energy from nature and all that. We can all do this, I whether we're cut witches it. or not. And um, we just want you to be comfortable with that. You yeah. can do things to help others. You can. It's to oh, have yeah, that guys. confidence. And um, don't be scared, like Sister Drew said, don't be scared to talk to us. Don't Even the vegans oh, but I'm not talk about my experience. They might think I'm going nuts or crazy. No, we won't. No, we won't. Because if that's the case, then we must think that we're nuts and crazy because we've got a lot, half of that we experienced, like I said, with you with Sister Drew. I'm sure Sister Drew, when she first heard the tree, was thinking, oh, my God, am I going crazy or am I actually seeing, hearing this tree talking to me? Like, I know I did. I sat there, I was reading a book, and I'm sitting there, and I'm hearing this energy talking to me, and I'm looking around thinking it's a spirit or a ghost, you know, and I'm looking like, who is this? And couldn't see anybody there, so I stopped, and it's done it again. It goes, look, look to your left or your right. So I looked, and I go... The only thing I'm seeing is a tree. Is this a tree talking to me? And the, the energy was like, yes, it's me, it's me. You know, and I thought I was going crazy at, at first when it happened. But, oh, that's beautiful, sis. Yeah, my neighbour made it for me. She makes Aww. crafts and things. I think she tried. My feet is burning like for a short pain right now. Yeah, so if me out quite a lot of things. put fire out on them, I'll be oh. happy. Oh, sis. Have, um, See, that type of thing. Made it. Because you can really concentrate. Yeah, my neighbour made it. Uh, she does arts and crafts and things, so sometimes she gets things that's a little bit witchy looking. And if she does, she brings them up and usually I'll buy them. She's made me quite a few things, guys. What else has she made me? The Hecate's Kitchen. She made me that as well. Um... The other things are in the living room, I think. Yeah, some of them are in the okay, living well, room. Okay, well, with your feet up burning, a few things. you've probably got one of the elementals yeah. around you, Sister Mary, like one of the fire elementals. Just ask them to, like, step back. Like, step back. Sometimes they don't realise their energy sometimes, especially the younger ones. Unless you have like a... Oh, Kerry's asking, I'd love to know if you want to share. I'm working... That's okay, so that's on you go and I can read that after. Oh, no, 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 go ahead. I was just going to say, go ahead. No, go ahead. You go ahead and read it. <clears throat> can you put it says, it uh, working uh, that yeah, maybe took a I different know. direction than what you had in mind, good or bad. Okay. I'd love to know if... You you'd want to share oh oh we've to answer the question i thought you meant you were going to share a quick uh, right okay i'd love to know i'm working that you maybe took a different direction than what you had and 
good or bad. See, every working I feel. See, a lot of the time I'll structure my working, but it's just a guideline. As I'm doing that working, something else could pop into my head to grab. So have if well we'll get to this when we get to the spell work. But have you do always do your pre preparation, of course. You always do your I prep work Louis. and have it as a structure. But at any I point in Louis. time when you you're really, really channeling your spirit, hi brother Louis. When you're doing spell work, you're you're really channeling your energies. So at I, any moment in time, those energies can change that. If they feel I as if something's trying to attack your work your work working. I think she's asking. This? I think she's asking us if we've ever done a working for something and it went completely the different way. Like, was it good? Did it end up good or did it end up bad? So, like, did we ever set out doing oh, right, a working right. and it didn't turn out being the way that we intended the, the working to be in the beginning? If I can answer that one, if that's how, right, you okay. it, how you're um, saying, Sarah, you want me to answer that? Here you go. Yeah, yeah, go yeah, yeah. You do it. You've done more okay. than me. <laughs> no, you when you do a working and i do say we'll cover that later you know uh during the other ones but to answer this one when you do a working and you know you're doing it right because it's your working if it turns a different direction it's because the universe it's because your creator the ether has decided that the working that you're wanting is not right for you. They're not going to send you down a path that is bad for you. They will redirect the working to better whatever it is the issue is that you are wanting to accomplish. So just because you do the working, always keep that in mind. If it gets redirected, it was meant to get redirected. Yeah, definitely. Nothing like that happens for no reason, you know. If it, if it does, obviously, if you're somebody, yeah. you're sitting there and you're doing the work, and then you suddenly change your your whole point of attitude, and maybe you're not thinking straight or you're not connecting differently, then yeah, things can go wrong. But nine times out of ten, when you're doing your work and yeah. stuff like that, you, your mind is completely on that work and at that time. And like Sister Mystical said, sometimes. If the working isn't quite the way it's supposed to be, then the energies that we oh, work well, with in and slightly change that direction. But that's not We've a bad had thing. That effect that's on people just to make it work e effectively. Okay, mm -hmm. so I hope that helped <laughs> helped and answered your question a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. I just feel if you're confident in what you are doing, you have structured that. You know the, You know yeah. you've cleared your energies. You've called upon who you need to call upon. You've got everything that you feel you need to bypass, whatever it is you have to bypass. If you are confident in what you're doing, then whatever that outcome comes to be, it's meant what it's meant to be. Because that is where the spell work will totally change. Don't <laughs> ever think response. that the outcome Yeah. Don't ever think the outcome is not what it's supposed to be, ever. It's what it's supposed to be. That's right, an outcome that may have surprised you or an oomph moment. Well, yeah, loads and of them. Yeah, of loads of them. Uh, obviously, we've had moments where we've been like, "Oh my God, what you know, what's going on here, or what's happening, or uh, you know, is this spell quiet the way it's supposed to be, or do we need to add something? Do we need to take something away?" Of course, we've had moments like that, but nine times out of ten, when we're doing yeah. our spell work, we know what we're setting for. Okay, and now our energies that work with pressure. us and are around us knows that as well. And if they're normally nine times out of ten, like Sister Mystical said, if there is something they want added or taken away, they'll influence that in us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, and you just nothing feel go wrong. And really, sure. come, come None of it's and we will cover all that. Yeah. yeah, Banshee needs to check the blood pressure. If she, if is Banshee a male or a female? Are you male or female? Banshee's Banshee. a girl. Oh girl, okay. Girl. So she okay. needs to check her uh she needs to check her blood pressure and see if it's too low if she's getting dizzy. <clears throat> That'll rule that part out right oh, there. Oh sweet. The majority yeah, of no. the time Get that really checked out. Yeah, be careful of the screening things as well. Yeah. Be careful. Are you on your phone? Sometimes the L C D on your phone. 
bone affects your okay, psyche. Okay, her name is Colleen. Okay, Colleen. Colleen. Right, okay, yeah, Colleen. yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Christina. Colleen. Is yeah, that sister, think... Colleen? Yeah. No, I don't think so. No, it's not, no. Little Your name is Colleen. Okay, sweet. Yeah, I like so just her. always be confident in what you do. It's okay, yeah. so on you go. Just look after yourself, Colleen, isn't it? That's all we're saying, you know. Like maybe get go to the doctors, get yourself checked out, you know, if you're worried. Yeah. If it's quite regular. But going back to that what Sister Drew said. When I was know, like yeah. that last year, I wasn't drinking enough water. Yeah. It can be a lot of a number of reasons to what's going on. Water and I, was like I live in Australia. Australia, yeah, check your water input and your yeah, electrolytes. Your like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, we just want you to be confident, so, guys. Just, yeah. yeah. I've had loads of spell work and things that, especially the ones that I do for helping people with money and things like that. I feel the money spells are the most difficult because you've got to bypass a lot of things. You've got to bypass somebody's confidence for a start to earn money. A lot of people like me, I never have felt I felt as if if you were earning money you were being like big headed I don't know, I had a certain aspect of do I have the right to earn money and not be rich but be comfortable and things. I don't know why I didn't feel that I had the right to be like that. But once I got over the fact to knowing that I'm worthy of having money the same as anybody else, um, and you realise that in a concept, there's a lot of different things you need to bypass. For example, if you ask for money, you, you can't just... The money won't appear for it nowhere. It won't just appear for the sky. You've got to bypass little things like, please give that person the confidence to go out and find a way to earn money. Please... So you've got to play, put something in place for that. You've got to put something then in place to maybe protect that. You've also got something to put in place maybe to... Like, so you've got the confidence at that point. So you've got to then do something in that spell to bring somebody into their life that's going to be confident, uh, good for them, to help them in a job or whatever. So it brings a job into their life. So there's a lot of things to bypass. So when you're planning in your spell work especially don't ever waver in what you feel at the moment but when you go down to do that spell and maybe all of a sudden you had wrote down rosemary but all of a sudden when you go to pick the rosemary up you're drawn to the roses or something definitely go with it don't doubt where you're going don't automatically say no, oh I, yeah. I was going to use rosemary just go for the roses just don't think about it go for the roses and use it instead or use it with the rosemary, you know, so be confident yeah. in that type of thing as well. Rosemary yeah, you is have actually a substitute for any other herb, by the way. Yeah, and it is important to be confident in your workings and stuff like that. Well, then, you you yes, also yeah. have moments like that. You, yeah. You're gonna have a lot of moments where you're gonna set out to use certain ingredients and end up using completely different ingredients. It doesn't mean you're mm -hmm. doing it wrong. It's what's supposed to be. And um, mm -hmm. a lot of people yeah. go by the concept, they'll look up herbs and they look at the meanings. It's good to do that, yes. But like me, for instance, um, yes, I've got books, I've got understanding of <laughs> herbs and stuff like that. But nine times out of ten when I'm doing my spells, I put in what I feel is right to mm -hmm. put in there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes some people would be like, yeah, but those herbs you wouldn't associate with that. No, you can associate any herb with anything if you've got the energy and the will to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, your so guides most of the it's time lead you to it. and belief mm -hmm. yeah. that helps. You know, yes, you can use any herb to do you. Anything. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and they're there to help you. So listen to them. Don't don't question it. And remember, oh. when you get to that stage, we'll help. I think it's next week. We'll probably be talking about that anyway. I think I'm sure, but we will teach you how to ground yourself and how to. Folk, well, we'll give you the what we know how to do it to focus in on how to work with different deities or how to work with an aspect of a different what's happened to this? Oh, oh, Drew shows up spirit or yes, something, yeah. you know. But just always remember in your daily life, he's 
know who you are. Because remember, spirits will know who you are anyway, and you can't fool them. So once you get to that stage, you'll already know who you want to call upon to help you with the spell work and things. Usually I just yeah. go straight to my ancestors, especially if it's something within my family. I'll just go straight to my gran and my day. Say, like, gran, day, will you please help me? help my big sister feel more confident, that type of thing. You know, you go to a family member for a family member. You maybe go higher up to deities and things for uh, money working, for example, and then you maybe even go higher up to Archangel Michael for a health spell. But you'll learn all that, so you'll be at a confident place is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, and like Sister's saying, you'll bring lots of elements into those spell workings. You'll have the elements that do the actual spell and you'll have the ones that do the protection and you'll have the ones that manifest it and make it happen. Yeah. You'll have energies that are making the person you're doing the spell for more confident. Because what you've got to remember as well, when you're doing this spell work and you're doing these castings and that, the energy of that person is going to be affected by that as well, okay? So it's very important that, like Sister Drew saying, the protection around them and that, because they're not particularly performing the spell but the spell's been done for them sort of thing so it is really important i put protection with yes. any spell i do any spell i do i, I reckon protection. oh yeah i think once you get to the stage you're actually doing spell work you will watch a lot of mystical's channel because mystical has got a lot i i don't i've not really got anything like that on my channel i'm a lot of, i'm really quite private when it comes to doing things because i just kind of i usually see it as grabbing things but i don't see it as that anyway mystical's channel has got a lot of great workings on there that she explains everything to you so i think once we get to that stage of teaching you you'll be pointed to mystical's channel a lot <laughs> oh, yeah. she explains yeah. a lot yeah and she shows you how to how to bypass things and things. And remember yeah, your petition back that you write. Too. You'll be able to say it all in that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm not getting back talking. into that too. It's just so cold in this room right now. I really don't stay in here other than just for the lives. You yeah. know. But as soon as the temperature starts warming up some, because normally the winter time is when I would be in here doing a lot of them. But this year, the, the winter is just so much colder that it normally has been that it's like a freezer back here so when it starts to warm up i'll be in here doing more and showing more christina exactly i have been yeah. getting messages lately telling me to give up things like drinking well normally these energies when they're saying this to you it's normally for a good reason isn't it so it does pay yeah. to listen sometimes I yeah. They may see something in hindsight. That you they have to know. be your shadow self reaching out to you, yeah. Clara. That's your yeah. shadow self. But that is your good shadow self that is actually reaching out. Remember what we told you last week? Your shadow self is not bad. Your shadow self is just another form of you that is trying to creep up. So the other shadow side of you, or even maybe one of your, your guides or something, is trying to put that into your head or into your pathway so that you recognise it or whatever the case may be going on, you recognise it and you can make those changes. That's the exactly. kind of, that's what you, that's the messages that you have to look for, Kerry. Yeah, and if you're somebody that is trying to spiritually open, then alcohol, drugs, things like that can really affect your communication to the other side. And it's very important to be clear-minded if you are going into that stage where you're wanting to communicate with energy and that. Because if you are drinking or you're taking drugs or you're doing things like that, it yeah. can really affect your your connection. And um, hang on a minute, there's a message there, Sister Christine has just put up. Where is it? Oh, there. Hang on. Well, if they want to talk to you more and you're drinking, it might block your spiritual senses. So maybe that's why they're telling you that. Yeah, because they're trying to reach out to you. And, and things maybe well, you get they, the message wrong and just sometimes the they just know that you're not well mm -hmm. or maybe that it's not doing you good they're going to know a lot more about you than you know about yourself okay and so what was you going to say mystical sis i was just going to say and sometimes on the flip-flop of that now us t saying things we're not giving you advice to do or not to do remember no. that okay everybody remember no. that 
from yeah. experience. Also, too, it could be a message because depending on how much, and I'm not gonna, I'm not don't don't even answer this in the chat how much you're drinking. That's not a, none of our business. Okay? <laughs> no, but, yes, but none of our business. You, yeah, could be anybody that anybody <laughs> that is drinking a lot and they get that message, keep in mind when you're open to spirits. <laughs> A lot of negative energy can come in because you're not at 100% control of your yeah. wits. That's when they will come in. So keep that in mind. Maybe that's a little thing to say, hey, somebody's trying to get in and we're trying to keep them out. And you need to keep, you know, beat us halfway here. But remember, we're not giving you advice on, on yes or no to drink or not to drink. That's none of our business. We're just throwing that out there, okay? Yeah. <laughs> No, yes. exactly, and um, we're not we're not saying that every person that drinks can't it. communicate. Some of us, some people that drink alcohol and things like that, can communicate. I want but to, like but I'm You will open yourself more to negative energy when you're doing mm -hmm. that, so you do have to be careful. You know what I mean? But not everybody that drinks can open spiritually, but some can, and you mm -hmm. need to be careful. What are you scared about, um, Banshee? What are you scared about, sweetheart? Don't be scared. Oh, I don't. don't be scared. It's not don't be scared. Have you got people around you, Banshee? Have you got a support system? It's important to have a support system at home or even a good support system that's maybe just a couple of minutes away or at the end of a phone. Have you got a, a good support system behind you? Thank you, Phoenix. Oh, lovely, Phoenix. Sis. Thanks, Let me Phoenix. Put that up. That's beautiful. That is absolutely amazing. Yay. So, for anybody that don't know, Mystical Man has memberships on our channel. As of today. Come on, guys. <laughs> yes. Woo. I took the whole yep. day trying to figure it out. I'm very spiritual. <laughs> I know that. But sometimes I'm afraid. I, uh, spirituality afraid and being of... open to the other yeah. side can be very scary. But what you've got to remember is to be confident Ooh. in yourself, sweetheart. If you have the confidence in yourself and you put the right protection and the right things around you, there's nothing to be scared of, sweetheart. And you've got a lot of people you can talk to that can guide you with that as well. And a little word. I was coming, coming out with drug addiction. I was coming out with drug addiction, Banshee. I know exactly how you feel. It's that. I'm it's the up, being you? scared of a different way of living and things as well. Thank you you don't it's... know if you're going to fall back into a... I yeah. don't know, it's just, there's loads of, I know if you're worried, I don't want to really say too much because it's um, not my place, but yeah. I think when anybody's getting over any addiction, whether it's a food addiction or anything, it's important to have people behind you. And if you are like me and yeah. you're, you're reaching out for a spiritual path and you want to be like sober and straight as well, then it's important to... Feel that self worth within you before you even yes. start to go down the road of shadow work and things. Try your hardest to every day meditate, even if it's before you start. I don't even know how how heavy a drinker you are or what anything. I'm just throwing this out here to anybody. Okay, Kirsty, thank you. Before you get up in the morning to go start your day, you, if it's going to be alcohol fuel, drug fuel, or anything, try and do your meditation before you start all that. And then that way you're given at least a chance to your guides and things to work with you. And you never know through going through that day, you might not need to have a drink or anything till later on at night. Well, there and you go. They'll start up. gradually like that. They will they'll start working yeah. with you. You said you got out of a drug addiction, okay? Exactly. So if you can get out of a drug addiction, you will be able to get out of a drink mm -hmm. addiction, sweetheart. It just takes time and dedication yeah. and believing in yourself. Okay, if you can take you just need to find a drug addiction again and sort yourself your out, thing. you are powerful yeah. if you can do that. Mm -hmm. So, you've got stick with us, and let me definitely stick with us, yeah. And let me say this because, and and it's not my place to say, but since Drew opened the door, Drew's been there, done that, and she came through it, okay. So you can do it. Yeah. My mother was not that strong. She didn't come through it. You she passed. It. So keep that in mind. You can do it. You can be strong. You can empower yourself. Call upon your higher self to step in. And just cut it back little at a time if that's what needs to be done. Okay? okay. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yes. I'll share with 
I'll my share something with lucky. you. I'll share something with you that I haven't shared with anybody. But when I lost my my children and things like that, I went through a bit of a drink problem because uh, I was trying to numb my pain and things like that. And it was very difficult yeah. to get back off of it. I, I, I wouldn't say that I was an alcoholic, but I was dependent, okay? And I, I know the struggles as well. It's a corporate uh, tool. Yeah. And, because it, it, you feel that it's something that holds you and um, you, you feel that you lose your problems in that drink when you don't, you know? And um, when I went through that, it, it was very difficult, like you, it was difficult to give out because it was the way to numb my pain. And my way of doing that was looking at what made me start drinking. Why I started drinking. I'm speaking. I would write down, I would write I'm down the benefits of drinking and the non-benefits of drinking. Okay. And I found that there was more non-beneficial things in drinking than there was the positive. Okay. So, I took them and put them together and I thought, right, okay, well, there's more bad from drinking than there is from good. And I, you know, I, I started to look at why I started and how I could come around sorting that out and coming out of that. Okay. So I would do a lot of self-love reflection. I would stand and look in the mirror and tell myself that I'm beautiful. I'm strong. I can get through this. You don't hurt yourself. I used to say many things to myself to try and empower myself, okay? Um, I started going and and doing things that made me happy and made me more positive and things like that to try to lift that energy and that spirit. And the more that I'd done that, I found myself slowly cutting down on that drink and I was finding more positive things replacing the drinking. It took a long time, but... Thank you, Drew. It does start with reflecting on where the drinking started, why it started, and writing a list on the benefits and the non-benefits of you drinking. What does it do to you positively? What does it do to you badly? Okay, and looking at that and reflecting on what you're writing down is going to help you to see and be like, oh, well, I don't want to end up like that and I don't want to keep feeling like that and I don't want to keep acting like this and I don't want to keep having people looking at me or judging me or, you know, there's going to be, you'll find a way yeah. through it. You've got through a drug addiction, then you've that already done it help. once. So you know, yes, you know the line to do. That's what that, shadow work comes in at. There's a lot of deities I work with you through things like that. Yeah. Santa Marta. Santa Marta definitely seen me through the worst of my addiction. I know for a fact within my heart and my soul, if I did not find, if I did not have that breakdown on my toilet and seen what I seen with Santa Marta's image, I know You're for so a stupid. fact I wouldn't be sitting here today. I know, I just know within my soul I wouldn't be. And Banshee when says. you get to that stage that you want to reach out, Banshee, there will be your guides in the background right now, they will be there just she's waiting on there, you sis. doing the work. She's already there, you. sis. There you go. She's already oh. there. She's saying that she's sick. Good, good. She's sick. Yeah, she's that's sick that's of good, drinking. Then. If you're sick of drinking, then it's not serving you anymore, sweetheart. You're just doing yeah, it for the sake exactly. of it being there. So you've got to put that in your head. You've got to remember, I'm sick of that drink. I don't want that drink. I don't want to touch that. I want to be clear-minded. I want to be happier. You've got to put all that positive energy in there. And your you know, shadow work reach out to the addiction yeah. teams shadow and things as well. Shadow work will definitely yeah. help. If you're at that stage already if where you you're feel saying, I don't that it's to do this anymore. Too far gone. Work. Yeah. Just remember Write it down. That coming off alcohol is dangerous guys you cannot just go off it straight away you do need to wean yourself down or you do more damage than you do good so for anybody out there that's got an addiction of any type remember don't just go right that's it i'm stopping <laughs> boom no 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 it's do not it the proper simple. way make sure that you got your it's doctor you get your like heart that. you get all the checks that you need to do to make sure if there's any underlying problems with your heart and things they can attend that before you start recovering do it the proper way there's plenty addiction teams out there i know that you are in the usa i know you're in australia aren't you i know sometimes you need to pay for treatment 
uh, and the and some of these places, but there also can be people, especially if you want to reach out and we can help you behind the scenes. There will be people there that will help you and talk you through it and things until you get that self strength. But don't think that you need to stop right away. Like that's it. I'm not drinking no. again. Make sure you do it, the process of weaning yourself down. Like, it won't happen like that. You won't just stop. Yeah, go to your door. You you yeah. Be ready. Because you've made the first step. And yeah, thank you for sharing that, that with us drinking. because that must have been hard. Yep. So the first step is admitting it, and the second step is saying you're sick of it. You've already got two steps you're doing. Okay, so. Yeah, it's now good. it's like Sister and Drew said, going I'll, and get medical help. And, yes. and if you can find a hobby yeah. to do, yeah. like right there in your house, it's anything as easy as putting puzzles together so that when you have that urge, then you go to your hobby and you start working on your hobby. Keep your hands busy. Keep your mind busy. Keep it off of what yes. you're trying to get away yeah. from. That's why, so yeah. Find, Find a hobby that you are interested in, and you might not think. See, I think that was a big help to me as well. Into it. Yeah. But that's what I said a minute ago when she first put it in. I said, "Do things that make you happy and make you feel exactly. positive." Mm -hmm. You need yeah. to have something positive in your life for if you, you to really be able do to face what, it. Okay. Uh, it was, uh, I, there it was, Banshee. I, I take my hat off to you for it. Oh, right sweetheart, now. I know it was hard, um, but do you know what? We are so proud of you so so proud mm -hmm. of you exactly that is the yeah. first step and a lot of people are like by, by you saying that you know a lot of people will say well that, that's be proud a of lot yourself to that be proud mm -hmm. remember yeah, this see. is what the, these these meetings are for the meetings teaches whatever you way you want to look at this is what they're for they're for you to have a safe place to open up to us and us help you as much as we can Everybody's on a spiritual journey, whether you're a witch, Sweetheart. you're not, you know, we're all on a spiritual journey. Sweetheart, I know that you're scared about how you're going to be without it, okay, but you can't be worse oh. off than what you'd be like at the minute, okay? I'm sure things will get a lot more clearer and a lot more easier for you. I'm not, we're so not saying good. it's going to be an easy road. We're not going to say that it's going to just come like that. It's not. It's going to be very upsetting. You're probably going to get angry. Yeah, that I am saying, get a emotional tablet, right? But you will be doing it, okay? And it's okay to be scared of how you're going to be, okay? But anything's got to be more positive than you feeling yeah. the way you're feeling now, sweetheart. And anybody around you is going to appreciate you Support more you, after yeah. the fact. But if yeah, people around will. you are doing the same thing, then it's time, if they're not good for your soul, it's time to move away from them. So you can get a hold and a grip on yourself because that is going to bring yeah. you down, 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 down. Okay? So you don't want to go there. So get a grip. Find something to do. Just go off of it a little bit at You've a got time. Like, and try and to stay and away from other people that's doing the same thing. Thank you, Lou, brother. <clears throat> yeah no yes and uh, you know you've you've took the first step sweetheart yep. do you know Oops, how yeah, brave like, you have yeah. to, be Thanks, to brother, even Louis. admit that you've got Thank that you, brother, problem Louis. you know for you to be able to sit there and say i have a drink problem and i and you know you've took the first step and that is absolutely amazing we are very 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 proud of you for doing that okay and there's a lot of people as you can see in the chat that have had people yeah, that they know that are drinking and that could support you as well as well as us okay we've all had some sort of see, issue or if something you're at the stage right issue. now you're emotional about you know? it if you're emotional, emotional about right now, it's time. I mean, I know that you're that right in front of us. So is it nine o'clock in the there. morning there? Emotional right now, it's because time. Because it's nine o'clock in the morning. I'm not judging what's going yeah, on. Yeah, about that. I think about yeah. nine for them. Do you have meditation, Brian? Or answer what we're saying in the chat. Try and journal a little right now. Yeah, it means listen, listen, please listen to me out. on this. See when you write things down, when you write things down, it's like you're giving it away, you're giving it to the ethers, you're giving it to the universe to deal with. Is you're writing all that down, and even if you're crying, your eyes out, and your books, I am. 
it's all yeah. through it. You're all getting that down on paper. That is your emotion going into that. Turn it or let it run a thousand pieces and let it go outside. Because you have poured your heart and your soul and your energy and emotion into that. So if you give yeah. that over to the gods, the ethers, they, they will help you. Trust me, they will. Especially if you are pouring your heart and soul into that. You're telling them what you want. You're telling them what you want for next year and you're going on it in the future. You're letting them understand. And remember, they will know your heart. They'll know what type of person you are. And they'll know whether you're worthy of it and things. So if you're pouring exactly. your heart out, and, and they'll feel the emotion of that. And your guides and things will all start clicking into place to put little things in place that will slowly by slowly help you. Believe, honestly, that's what happened with me. Exactly. And you're feeling emotional and you're saying it's time. So you are ready. I can't, so like Sister Drew said, write it out. Like, do meditation. Do some meditation, get your thoughts together. Meditation really helps you to get your thoughts together and to think, okay? When you've done that, then do what Sister Drew said. Yeah, write it down. that's understandable. Make it like writing some little pa paper pamphlets like Sister Remember, Drew said. Remember, you don't to use fire. I, use water. You can do anything. You can do anything. Sorry, sis. She water. said she kind of used fire because of the... The, the petition you can do it with water get a, a bowl of water and put it in the water and make sure it all flakes apart you don't, don't have to use, use fire, fire sweet. it's the same in it's not all about it. fire sweetheart I water is too. an energy a movement water is something that brings change okay I, I saw two banshee yeah. a very good thing to remember so is says, when when you get ready and you start getting off okay don't get it in your head that if you slip back a step, oh, well, I slipped, I screwed up, I just forget it, I've done everything wrong, and then just start again. No. I was going to say that, have, yeah. Yeah, you have the right to slip. So keep that in mind, you're only human. You have the right to slip back if you, yes. you know, if you do. But just yeah. say, okay, I slipped, now I'm getting back on track again. And keep doing that because some people will go, well, I done screwed up. Yes. I might as well forget it and start. Don't do that. You're human and everybody, whether it's a diet, whatever, no. they will slip. They will slip. Can so you recognize that and you're recovering? Track. Yeah. yeah. Just get the bowl. All you got to do, Banch, is yeah. pretty much is just get the bowl. You can put some salt in it. It's protection and stuff, okay? It'll keep everything energized and whatever. And just put the bowl on the table and just look at the bowl, put all of your thoughts and intentions into that water, write it on the paper, and just let, the, like Sister said, let it all break apart. Once that's done, all you've got to do is just give it back to the elements, give it back to nature and let it out. Yeah. You know, paper to Yeah, it, it will disappear. all of your, your intentions. Yeah, you do have to put your intentions in. So when you're sitting there, hold the bowl. Hold the bowl, think about what you're wanting to happen how you're wanting to get rid of that negative feeling and wanting to change and wanting to make better and then write down what sister said sister um drew said write down mm -hmm. i want help to be stronger i want help to be clearer i want to give up drinking please help anything, write anything down and put it in that water and give it back to mother nature and mother earth it will go up it's going to disintegrate you're not going to be vandalizing anything yes because it's paper. And paper water. is wood. Okay. Wood is earth. Yeah. <clears throat> so yes, just water. put it back outside and yeah. the work will happen. You'll start to feel differences. You'll start to maybe get visions or you might start feeling things or you might start. Remember your incenses and your candles. Candles, yeah. Candles, Remember your yeah, smells. Yeah. Smells oh, have been yeah. really important. Yeah. Okay. So since Drew and Sherry brought up the water. And what to do with the paper since I do a lot of workings and you know you put your intentions as they're saying okay if you yeah. have a plant that's inside your house okay it don't matter what plant or if it's outside your house because I think y'all are going into your warm time where we're going we're in our cold time you can take that and pour the yeah, water summer. that's got that paper, move the soil back up under your plant and pour it in there. 
and then you cover it up and then you can say as this plant oh, grows so will i as mm. this plant grows so will i you chant that three times because you're putting it back into something you love which obviously if you have a plant and you love it you're taking care of it so that's what you can do with it also and my answer to you, Christina, well, no, wood is wood. No, wood is part of earth, okay? Uh, without earth and without soil, wood would not grow. Paper comes from wood, okay? So it's still the same thing. It's all under the earth. It's all to do with earth. Yeah, I was just right. doesn't matter chat. what it is. <laughs> Yes, wood goes into the earth and it disintegrates yeah, and it makes soil. That's called compost. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, definitely do that, guys. And remember, we are here for anybody, even the ones that's behind the scenes that do not comment and do not want to interact in any way. Remember, if you are struggling in any of your meditations, your shadow works and things, you don't have to come onto the channel. You probably know all the details of the Facebook groups, the messengers and things. Reach out to us behind the scenes and say to us, listen, I do watch your show and I'm struggling a little, but I don't want to be public. And I promise you that we will do that as well. We are here to help you get on your spiritual path or improve your spiritual path. We don't want to make this all about being views on YouTube or anything. We're here for to support you in the journey, not YouTube. So remember that, guys. We're here to help you, especially right now, because I do feel that maybe next week when we do the continuation of the shows, that even if you are still struggling at that point, don't think, oh, dear, they've moved on. I can't address it. Definitely address something you want to address maybe in the first show, you know? Don't think that you can't address it because we're on the show five or anything. What is that? What's Christina saying? Sorry. You know? What is it? if you're saying wood is a separate element element, it's not because there is five main elements, okay? Earth, water, fire, air, and spirit. Okay. And even though wood is it's got its own boundary because it's like obviously a tree element or it's a wood element, it's still linked to the earth element. None of these elements can exist without earth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're all a base element and then they've got yeah. their and then you have all the elements that surround all of them the earth element is right. every remember element. uncle danny told us about air air yeah. has four ones behind it so yeah. each element has little elements behind it because one's got the four ones behind it sorry air's got the four ones ones and things behind it so there is a base element and then there's break off branches from those and tree is one of them where earth. the same as the yeah. sky and things is one of them where air i would believe maybe i don't know yeah. never thought about it but you know what i mean yeah christina everything everything <laughs> is connected remember that's all you need to know everything's connected when mm -hmm. oh, i wish i remembered the way uncle Barney said that. There's a thing Uncle Danny says, and I can't remember what it is, but there's a little saying that he, he says, and it goes through everything. It goes through, like, he, he'll know what I'm talking about in chat. Uncle Danny, please help me out here. Where it goes from, like, the tree element, <coughs> it goes for the sky, basically, and it works itself right down through all the elements. I wish I could remember. We've got the tree and sky, is in there. You've got, you've got sister, you've got, you've got sister moon, sister about. sky, brother, brother <laughs> um, mountain, brother, brother wood, like different elements, different things. Yeah. yeah. Your trees out it's the about the way the world was bought, the way the world came together. Earth. I need to <clears> find my shaman book. Where is it? Uncle Danny's teaching I don't know, there's just a saying or something. It's like well, a no, little grid of the way it worked in the beginning. We don't forget that, Christina. We know that there's five main elements. Well, no, you definitely and don't those forget elementals it, sis. have other elementals connected to them. We know that's when the trees talk to you. Grass, trees, flowers, whatever. You know, there's elements to everything. Stone elements. Yeah, because it's the tree melt. elementals. The tree melt go into the soil, and then the soil melts to go into. 
it was that type of thing he explained to us. Yeah. I don't know where it is right it down somewhere. It's just finding it. <laughs> when Uncle Danny comes on to help with the teachings, I'll get to see. Um, yeah. <laughs> Because the, the, the main, the, the spirit main is, thing to is, me, the spirit is the one that is the more prominent in most of it because we are spirit. Everything is spirit. Yeah. You yeah. know? <laughs> but we need all of the elements. We would not survive without all is of the Is there any elements. questions okay. for tonight, guys? But really, all we're saying is to balance exactly. isn't it? Yeah. Just do the water, put your them. intentions in, Write it down on your paper, put it into the water and give it back to nature. It's not going to affect nature. It's not going to affect Mother Earth. Okay? Hey, Sherry, put up Carrie's uh, yeah, message. Yeah, you could flush you Carrie, you're right. That last one. Yeah. A quick fix. Work yeah. for bad habits and other things. Write on toilet paper and flush it. You got it? Put your intentions Exactly. That's good it. as well. Yeah, that's yeah. good. You can do put it anywhere. Put your intentions into it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can do it anywhere. Hi, Christine. Just hold the piece in your hands. Hi, Christine. Write it exactly. All, write it the all. simplest of things. Write it Guys, all the I have done. I, I have done. Yeah, I have done little spells in the moment, like just sitting here and thinking, blah, blah, blah. And then that's it done. And I think that was too simple. <laughs> and then I mm -hmm. think that's me just buggered it. But <laughs> some things are just so simple that you think, could that have been a spell? But it really, really is. So don't ever doubt it. She, that, <laughs> you that's know? thinking if outside the box. If you have got that intent, that's what matters. Mm -hmm. The main like thing, think said. outside the box. Yeah. And that's what she just did. Think outside yeah. the box. Like him. <clears throat> Like we said, um, Kerry, you know, like these sort Use of things take can. time. But doing that, you know, like you said, you can use any, you don't have to use a bowl and put water in it. Like she said, you can use the toilet and just write it on the toilet paper, hold the toilet mm -hmm. rag paper, yeah. think of the intentions while you're writing it and just put it down the loo. Like, that would maybe thing. work better because think it about would, what yeah. was doing the toilet. That would maybe work a lot better. That all the crap of goes the down the toilet. All of the unwanted yeah. goes down the toilet. So why not? Yeah, probably you know? the best. You're welcome, Spell Banshee. Like that you want to banish something. Mm -hmm. You're very welcome, Remember, Banshee. Remember, Banshee, we are here for you, okay? We're here for you. We're, all we're here, here for everybody. For you. We have we're got sisters in Australia as well if you need them. And we're not up, yeah. okay? You will not be alone in this journey. Not if you're yeah. part of this community, you're not alone. Yeah, I think our sister mystical with freezing. It is quarter we past. This. We have been live an hour and okay. 15, well, 17 minutes, guys. Mm -hmm. So if there's any questions or anything you want to ask, anything else you want to say, we've got about 10 minutes, well, 13 minutes. Yeah, do that, sweetheart. Do that, Banshee. Just... If, even if you write it on a bit of toilet roll and hold it and think about it and yeah, throw it down the it as well. Same thing. Okay. <laughs> Any questions, like Sister Drew said, write them now because we will be coming off shortly, my darlings. And remember, keep that mentality going. If you feel you need to do it again, do it again in a couple of hours. Yeah, keep doing it until you feel something's working. Just keep doing it. If you feel you need to do yeah. it every morning, do it. Mm. Yeah. And see when you're pa I don't know if you've got a mirror in your toilet or not, but thinking about it, see if you did the actual working well the intent in your toilet and look at yourself in your mirror as you're doing it. I've got a mirror right beside my toilet. So technically if it was me, I would be looking at myself in the mirror. I would have wrote down all my intention. I'd look at myself in the mirror and I would say it to myself that you are worthy of this new path. You are worthy of of this mm -hmm. new spirituality in this future and then i would say guides goddesses ancestors please be behind me right now as i flush this down the toilet and as i'm flushing this down the toilet we'll give all the energy to flush away all the problems i have noted once i've done this i'm going to not look back i'm going to live a life of focus intention to be good all this and then walk away with that confidence and keep feeling them behind you Keep feeling that strength of them behind you and try and get through your day. If you get through your day to the next day, well done. You, you get a little bit further next day, well done. Just keep doing it, but keep empowering yourself throughout the day and saying, I'm doing really good here. I've went half a day without even thinking about whatever, you know. 
keeping power in yourself with little messages like that. Mm -hmm. Even yeah, looking out of looking a mirror, mirror at, at a window as well. Like for me, I like looking out windows because to me, windows are doorways to the future and to better things. So even like doing the mirror thing that was Sister um, um, Drew saying, mm -hmm. and then maybe uh -huh. turning to your to your window and looking out and uh, and visualizing and imagining a better future, yeah. a clearer future. You know, it's giving you that prospect to move forward to do better so you could have and, the mirror and the window and as drew you was know. saying too with a mirror when you're talking to yourself take a mental note of your face take a yeah. mental note of your face yeah. what it looks like and guaranteed when you get off of it you're going to look at yourself so much more clear you're going to look at yourself as your your going to your complexion is going to be so much more brighter your thought process is going to be that much more sharper and at that point yeah. you're going to look at yourself and say there i've got, i've accomplished what i want to accomplish and tell yourself that you've done a good job looking into a mirror is always a good thing you well done Badgie. i'm super proud of you, you see it. You see the change, sweetheart, well looking into a mirror. I'm going to start today. Well yes, we are, And that's awesome news. You're mm -hmm. strong, you're loved, and you're powerful, and you can do this, okay? Mm -hmm. We're all behind you. It's a great time of year all to start. Us. It's a great time of year to start. You've got all the support of all us doing these teachings. You've got the support of all us. Mm -hmm. Also, Sister Luna and everything has all started doing live streams again, so there'll probably be somebody live at certain points of the day. Turn to YouTube as well for some company if you're feeling lonely. You know, there's usually be somebody live about this time of night. You know, do little things like that that you know is a coping mechanism. Music, use music, use dance to help pep you up the days that you're feeling you want to go I'm gonna use. Start doing dance my, uh, it out. Yeah, that's what I do. I'm going to start doing my music, my music and dance show things again. A lot of people <laughs> seem to like that and feel uplifted by it. I, I am going to be starting that back at some point doing me music and using me instruments yeah. and doing all that. And do you want to know what other music I use as well? I use other music that makes me feel emotional. See if I feel that I yeah. want to get something out of my system, that I feel it's just sitting there ready to cry it out. Listen to the music that's going to make you cry and deal with it. Don't just let it sit there in the background feeling I'm really feeling I need to get something out. Put on the emotional music and get it out of your system because it will just sit there and you'll feel like, oh, for days. So get a sad music on. It makes you cry. And then as you start crying to that music, usually you'll find out what's going on in your head and you'll start crying about that. And that's you dealing with it. And then the minute you probably, a couple of hours have passed, you'll feel that you're a little lighter. And that's what it is. It's because you've cried it out. And you need to let it go. Birthday, you need to let go. Happy early birthday, Banshee. And on February the 11th, we'll tell Happy you early again. birthday, Banshee. Birthday. Happy birthday for the 11th of February. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, there you've got a month to your birthday. Yep. You got okay, that you've got a month to your birthday. Mm -hmm. I, I think Just you'll empower confident. yourself to then. Be confident and know that you've got the power in you. And you'll you enjoy your you've birthday already, more. You've already took several steps already. You're sick of it. You've we'll you've shared the, the story. You've done several things. You're already on that pathway. So doing the mirror okay, thing, yes. maybe looking out the window, these sort of things are really going to help you to, to focus. And like Sister Mystical said, focus on your face. Watch the changes in you as you're doing it because it will make you feel more confident because you'll see it happening in front of you. You know what I mean? So, yeah. and write down on paper, on member, toilet tissue, flush it down because I use tissue as long as you need to. Yeah. You know, and, and definitely journal, journal something that you'll keep so that when you yeah. look back in six month time, a year time, and things, you'll see how far you've came. I've got some things in my first kind of diary book of shadows if you like that i probably am not even strong enough to look at just yet <laughs> you know i know there's a few things in there that i don't want to face but uh, at the same time um definitely keep everything wrote down and, and then you can go back on it and look i think i read out some of my book of shit first book of shadows the other week there and it's definitely good to reflect back and you do see how far you've came you see the pride 
you see your pride, you think, oh my God, like back then I'm like all this and now I'm here and yeah. you'll be so proud of yourself for doing it. And it is good to document it, it is. Yeah. yeah definitely. It was your star true. Yeah, the star tarot card. You, Banshee, you are the star. You're the star of your own life. Most and definitely. you deserve the sun. Remember, the sun is the happiest card of the deck. You deserve the sun. And Luna said she's You'll not, she's not you like to Sunday. If I can find it within myself, you can do it. Yeah, so Luna and yeah. Sister Christina. Okay, Luna with Christina. Christina yeah, Christina will be Sunday. live tomorrow. Christina's on Saturday. I'm right. live tomorrow. Not Christina's live, live tomorrow. She's Saturday. Yeah. Hopefully. Premium. So there'll be plenty of people around. There'll be plenty of people around. Well, it is uh, coming to yeah, one well one wow. hour and twenty five minutes, so we are going to be stopping the stream very shortly, guys. But we do appreciate you all coming in, and we're so glad that you've come in we'll back to you well. your story with us, and we're really proud of you. And we we've yes. got really good feelings about your sweetheart, and we think you're going to be just fine. And you've got us if you need us. Um, we appreciate all of you for coming in and yes, thank you, you know, for coming in. In. keep going into the WhatsApp chat putting all your homework bits in there any questions anything so that we can keep tallying yeah, on guys, I'll what you're saying. That again, just know and I'll put you know, it in there. Uh, also while i was here sis because we did speak about this the but other she week, definitely come into the group yeah. i think you know like when we were saying about the uh yeah. like yeah. in the videos over to each other we're taking up like each other's um storage on our laptops so the easiest way to do it is just put yeah, just like, it after it each show into the playlist. Yeah, but that's not working out too good because see, if you look at it when you're playing it back and things, sometimes it's it's not there. See the one that, um, what did I do? I looked at it and there was one, one there. It's always better to have it as a backup on your channel, yeah, but... If you decided to put that private, then we wouldn't get access to it at all. Or if yeah, I decide my, to put my, mine um, private for whatever reason, then the other thing. person doesn't get access to it. Yeah, my witchy one, though, is not, not private. It's open. One thing. Yeah, I mean, like, if you want to share that playlist with somebody, it'll not let you share some. Well, I don't know, because okay, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out anyway. We'll not talk about it here. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we'll, we'll sort it out, guys. Welcome in, mister. We're going to add you to the, the group, group, guys. We'll give you this link. Yeah, we I mean, just want to put the clan uh, group back in here again, guys. We to find it. How can I get the link? And thank you, Phoenix, for oh, uh, becoming my first I just don't understand member on my membership. Thank you, Phoenix. Yeah, well oh, done. Send, right, I'll send one. <coughs> I think we are right, Carl. Whoop, whoop. Couldn't have done it without Ruben. I'm trying to copy and paste this link. And, He's uh, Sherry here. and all the sisters from watching all my videos and keeping my watch hours up there and all my subscribers. And so well, the next very thing welcome. I got to try to do is get monetized, but I still got a about 900 and something viewing hours and about 350 or something like that of subscribers to get actually monetized for yeah that well, you're doing amazing sis and you are well, very that's welcome. the basic so copy but i'm surprised i got there well with that's it and then we'll get you to that yourself. next bundle mm -hmm. it just takes time i'm surprised i got there wait and i'll put this in the chat for you right this is the WhatsApp group in case any of you yeah. want to reach out. Yeah, the voice, on, I hate my voice. Find, where's that? Oh yeah. Oh. So, yeah, that's the that's the uh that's that in chat guys. Link okay. To press. Oh, okay. Oh well done, Luna. Seven hundred. Well done. Were you seeing that? I missed that. Well oh, done. Okay. Yes, he's oh, all yeah. getting there. 700 subscribers where well, you do better than me i have well 600 done. and something 600 and 640 
Seven. You like must have three thousand watch hours, Luna. You'll be able to get members as well. Then you should be able. To have, I think you'll have three thousand watch hours because you've been live quite so. a lot. I would have thought she would. Yeah. Yeah. Right, what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to we're going to come off of the channel and stuff then, and we'll be back again next week with the next show. But I'm sure through the week when we're on our lives and stuff, we'll tell you what the show is next week and and things like that. So mm -hmm. thank you for coming in, guys, and yeah. sharing your stories. Banshee, keep mm -hmm. uh, keep strong, girl. You're doing amazing. We're all cheering and for you. Yes, yeah, we are. We've got Let's this. Love and light to all of the angels. Up. Does sisters, you want to say bye and say a little bit? Okay, guys, we'll see you good. next week. See y'all. Thank you Just for coming. See you next week, guys. Yes, remember, keep Mary doing Potter. the shadow work, keep doing the meditations. And he's always fine. Bye, guys. <laughs> Merry parting, guys. Bye. That is the one, isn't it? Bye bye.